By the way, this is another Joy question. She has great feel for what happened in Miami. She's a LeBron hater. She's not a hater. She's objective about LeBron James as opposed to somebody across from me. But (laughs) the point is, I do get it. You just read the numbers. How can you argue with the math? Two years, 47 million versus 3.5 million exception. Okay, I get it. Yeah. LeBron is still campaigning to try to refit J.R. Smith under what's left of their salary cap. I get it. But I didn't get exactly what happened in Miami. So allow me to walk quickly back through it. Joy was there. 2011, LeBron takes his talents to South Beach to join his his BFF, his his soulmate, mm-hmm. Dwayne Wade. And that is not exaggerated. They are That's his road dog. Well, you got it. Brother, blood brother. And I thought Dwayne sacrificed a lot for LeBron James. He sacrificed in salary right away, took 15 million less because they all had to take some less to fit the three of them, including Bosch, under the cap. And then Dwayne made a huge sacrifice, having already won one ring, but but he said basically publicly, I'm Robin. He's Batman, I'm Robin. I'm gonna take a back seat to my man LeBron because he's the best player on this team. And we know that Dwayne was doing some backseat driving to that team because he was teaching LeBron how to win at the highest level, which LeBron had not quite figured out, albeit with much less talent Mm -hmm. in Cleveland. But he needed to learn from a guy I have the highest respect for as a professional and a winner in Dwayne Wade. And obviously Dwayne is older than LeBron and was sort of at the tail end of his prime when LeBron arrived in Miami. But he sacrificed for him. And he showed him, and they broke through against the Thunder and won a ring, and they won another ring the next year, thanks to Ray Allen, gets my spurs. Stop, Skip. Okay, but then the next year, it fell apart in the finals, and my spurs blew them out by a record margin in five games. And you go into that offseason with some question marks, but it didn't seem like LeBron staying in Miami was the biggest question mark at the time. And ultimately that July... Pat Riley got blindsided, and he's not one who gets easily blindsided. He did not see this coming, according to Pat Riley. I don't think Dwayne saw it coming, because Dwayne said he didn't know until the night before LeBron announced in Sports Illustrated, I'm going Come home or home. coming home. Yep. Tell okay. the world. But I always wondered from that point forward, how did Dwayne really feel about that? Because LeBron, I got to say it. No, no, I'm not trying to be hypercritical of LeBron. I thought he left Dwayne and Pat Riley and the franchise high and dry. He left them sort of holding his bag because they were waiting for him to recommit. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he went home. What? And it's hard for Pat Riley to blast him for going home because it's, you know, it's just hard to, you you can't take great exception. But you left Dwayne because, to me, LeBron thought that Dwayne was on his last legs. Dwayne's legs had not been great in that finals. Is that fair? They, he looked a little rickety, and he was having trouble with both knees at that point. Mm-hmm. He bounced back last year to Dwayne Wade, and I thought he looked like Dwayne Wade for much of last year and even in the playoffs against Toronto. So he had, he had a lot of high-level basketball left in him, mm-hmm. and yet his road dog went home. And I, I thought it would hurt Dwayne. He never even gave a peep or hint of that publicly. And my friend at ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, knows both of them, and he kept telling me, nope, nope, Dwayne's got no issue with this. Dwayne had won his rings, obviously won without LeBron. Mm-hmm. But, but I thought it had to sting him a little bit. So when, when it sort of came full circle to this year, if in fact Dwayne wanted to reunite with LeBron, there was a way to do this that LeBron did not bring up. LeBron could have said, I renegotiate. I'll give you back. Remember, LeBron's just campaigned every year. I'm going to take the max. And I've told you before and everybody else, you could do what Tim Duncan's been doing. You could. You could take – Tim Duncan was outrageously underpaid for the last three years of his career, taking about a third or maybe even a fourth of what LeBron was taking yep. to make sure that they could stock the roster 12 deep with, with enough depth to go win a championship. And – they, they had their shots, and maybe last year it didn't work, but, but still, Tim gave them chances to go win because he would take far less money. He said, I don't need, I've got enough money. Maybe nobody ever has enough money, nope. but, but LeBron James makes a whole lot of money off the court.
a whole, right? Yeah, he does, does anybody make more off the court? Nope. So why wouldn't LeBron maximize his chances? Why wouldn't he bring his road dog back under the salary cap by saying, you know what? I don't need the max. I need half the max or whatever it would be. <laughs> well, why not? Please. Okay, well, you could do it. Dwayne did it for you. Dwayne immediate. He was the big dog in Miami when LeBron wanted to take his talents to South Beach. And Dwayne said, you know what? Come on down. I will take $15 million a year less so that you can join our salary cap. Why wouldn't he return the favor? Because I think Dwayne's got a couple of good years left in him. That's just me. First of all, Skip, the only problem that I had with LeBron returning back home was because of the letter that Dan Gilbert wrote. And if he was willing, I agree. To, and if was, he was willing was... to forgive Dan Gilbert, huh. who am I to say he made and the And by the way, mistake? that letter was unforgivable to me. To me. Like bridge burned. Exactly. Okay. So with that being said, he paid, look, Whatever he took, and, and, and as a matter of fact, he was making, LeBron was making less money in Miami than D. Wade. I think he paid that off. Four finals appearance, two, he won, an, he won two MVPs there, mm -hmm. and he won two titles there. He paid everything that Pat, even in Pat Riley's wildest dreams, this was probably the, what he could hope for. So not only could they not fit him under the cap, why would why would even Dwayne Wade even think about it? Why? And it's a bad fit because you already got two guys that dominate the basketball. You got LeBron needs the ball, Kyrie needs the ball. They don't need another guy that needs the ball. They need someone that can spot up and shoot. That's what they. If you look at the way they constructed the roster, they turned Kevin Love, who was a post player, into a strictly an outside shooter. And why would if I'm LeBron, if I'm LeBron, why would I why would I give up? $16, $17 million a year to sign D. Wade. You know what? Right now, I would rather have Dwayne Wade than J.R. Smith. That's just me. No, I wouldn't. I would. Let me ask you a question, Skip. Apple has $230 billion in cash on hand. Are they discounting iPhone 7s? They got my cash. I got my yeah, Exactly. <laughs> hey, hey they didn't get, you didn't get no discount on it either, did you? No. So you want LeBron James, the best player in the world, oh, because he did it for you and because you make so much money off the court, oh, take a discount for D. Wade. I'm not. He said. Well, what if it might make your team a little bit better? Getting J.R. Smith back will make their team a little better. That's not. Hey, in the playoffs, you, you got to hide your eyes with J.R. With Dwayne, he rises and shines. But he needs the ball. So if, not always. Yes, he. He can pass it. He. But he. You, hey, you want to talk about big shot maker? He was making big shots against Toronto. We, we got enough big shot makers. We, we got, got one. We got another big shot. We got, we got Kyrie. King. I'll give you we Kyrie. Got the king. Yeah, the we king. Got, yeah. Oh, I you, see oh, that you don't remember that, that game when he shot in Chicago no, two I years do ago? Not. That was, oh, you that remember? Was a long time ago. Oh, you remember? Yeah. But skill. Where he got mad in the huddle because it, remember Blatt did not call his number, LeBron's number, it, and he said, "Give me the ball." So I love LeBron when he gets mad. Like, give me the you know what ball and get out of my way. That's when he might make a clutch shot, and he actually made one. Wade, you want Wade? Wade signed a two-year. 47, maybe 48, so 24 million. Mm -hmm. You want him to take a 20 and a half million dollar pay cut to go try and win, win a ring? When I, Apple has 230 billion in cash and they won't discount iPhone 7s, I'm not taking no discount. I would want LeBron to go to him on bended knee and say, We need you. Yeah. yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Man, look here. If, if LeBron would ever take, if LeBron ever take anything mm -hmm. less than a max, mm -hmm. except in year 18 or 19, I'm done with LeBron. Oh, he should so, maximize. So, boy, maximize. he needs that money bad. Yes. Right? Because he just doesn't make enough. I, I know it just doesn't stretch far enough. Bill, He's got, what's he got? Three kids now? Warren it's Buffett. Tough. Warren Buffett's worth 68 billion and he mm -hmm. works every day. LeBron got 68 billion? I think he probably does. He's <laughs> somewhere up there. Stop playing, Skip. Huh? Skip, I'm gonna tell you like this here. He doesn't need any more money. Damn sure don't need any less. Well, why not? What do you mean? What? So, so what was wrong with Tim Duncan? You think he was crazy for taking so? Absolutely. He, he was making like like four million last year. Absolutely, he was crazy. He's ridiculous. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, He's on. a team guy. Let He's let me ridiculous. Ask you a let me ask you a question. Yeah. He just how, wants to win. Okay. How many? How many of these bad teams go to the networks and say Jacksonville's and the Cleveland? Say, you know what, guys, we terrible. We shouldn't get the same money as the Patriots. We shouldn't get the same money in TV contract as, as the Broncos that win every year. How many of them do that? Well, it's how you spend your money. They all have the same money to spend. 
The, okay. As Ted Schramm once said, you cannot legislate intelligence in that league. Okay. Right? The, the, and that, yeah. And see, although LeBron did not go to college, mm -hmm. he's a very, very educated oh, he's, man. He's extremely smart. LeBron, get smart your money. Smart enough to know that he needed Dwayne this year. Whatever you do, LeBron, do not listen to this man sitting across <laughs> from me about giving mm -hmm. money back. Yeah, go ahead and take the max. This is a romantic story. It's not practical. If you're Dwayne Wade, why on earth would you leave that money on the table? You have rings. Yes. You have nothing to prove. Nothing. Your legacy is intact. Yep. So leaving that kind of money on the table is ridiculous. And as far as LeBron goes, if he can win without Wade, Which and with, without taking less money and taking the max, he should Which do he that. This year. But yeah, the but underlying he... the underlying element to this story, to me, aside from the obvious fact that Wade mm -hmm. has no business leaving that kind of money on the table, if he wants it. Now, if he wanted to leave the money on the table, fine. Right. You make your own decisions. But he didn't do it. The underlying thing is the Cavs and the Heat, there's nothing good there at all on, on any level, from Pat Riley all the way down to the fans. There's bad blood there. And Wade has a legacy in Miami. Mm -hmm. If he goes to the Cavs, that is damage. Oh, so it blows his legacy. That is damage. Okay. Well, they'll, always, they'll always love, listen, Heat and Miami will always Pat, love Dwayne Pat, Wade. Pat Riley, look here. Pat Riley didn't want D. Wade. Mm -hmm. He used D. Wade because the only reason LeBron went to Miami was because of D. Wade. No. It wasn't because of no Pat Riley. Nope. Now, you could tell yourself that it's because of Pat. It wasn't because of Pat. But no, you know, Wade, you know, Wade recruited LeBron to Miami. Absolutely. But, Chris Bosh, too. They, all, they, they, they recruited each other. That's fine. But, but don't, let's not act like nobody benefited from this situation. I'm not saying, but we're going to fi find out just how good a recruiter Pat Riley is when he doesn't have a superstar to entice somebody to come play well, with. Well, right now he has a non-playoff team. That's what he hey. has. So right. we're going to say, uh oh, Pat, oh, Pat Riley is great. It's a family atmosphere, all these rings. We're going to see when he does not have a superstar mm -hmm. to go along with a Batman and he can bring a Robin in. <laughs> we're going to see, can he get Steph we'll Curry? Find out. We're going to see if he can get Kevin Durant. We'll find so, out. So now LeBron just has to hope that Draymond gets suspended in game five and Bogut gets hurt in game six and seven. That's Bron what he's going to have to Bron hope. It's Bron okay. Hope then he'll be fine. All, all I need Bron to do is get to the playoffs healthy, yeah. and I'm going to another parade in June <laughs> in 2017. Right. That's yeah. what I know, yeah. Skip.